we didn't have a really dirty car to use to demonstrate our waterless wash when we were in California filming. So we're gonna go ahead and use this Subaru Outback. Just so happened to be parked out in front, filthy dirty, so dirty, we went and took it to the blaster and pressure washed the entire thing to get the mud and real nasty snow and grit off. At this point, it's dirty, but it's not terrible. There's no visible grit on the finish. That's what we wanna make sure and not have before you use our waterless wash and the waterless wash towels. Now, here's how it works. You take a finish that's dry and a little bit dirty, and you spray an area liberally. Then, taking the waterless wash waffle towel, take, you see the grid on the towel, you take and flip the towel constantly, and then turn the towel so that you have every possible clean finish and go over and clean one section of the car at a time. It works fantastic. It leaves the finish slick and clean, not as shiny as the detail spray. Remember, the waterless wash is really for removing dirt without scratching. You can use the same product on the glass. and you can see it works fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the Outback here, and you can follow me around. One of the key things to remember when you're using the waterless wash is to avoid big, thick pieces of dirt or mud. Big chunks of dirt or mud can scratch your finish. Now I've pretty much soiled this towel. It's all the way wet, all the way through. At this point, I can use it for two, one of two things. I can go around and get the really nasty dirt with it off the glass. But not finish off that particular panel. And then I'm gonna use this wet towel for really what's gonna be the nastiest part of the car, the very bottom uh, of the car, at the very bottom of the doors where there's gonna be a little bit extra dirt, extra mud open the door jams. This way I'm gonna go in and instead of using just a spray, I'll turn the nozzle to stream and then I'll be able to really blast some heavy dirt. Whenever I have heavy dirt, I like to use the stream option, blast that dirt out of that area. I'm gonna use the ratty wet towel first to get the heavy soil off. Use it like a wash rag basically. and then finish with a nice dry towel. All right, looks good. It's about a 20 to 30 minute job to waterless wash a car. Be careful, use a damp towel when you're doing the bottom parts. It's not gonna scratch any more than typical washing will with soap and water. Now, once the car's done, if you wanna add a little bit more shine, what I do, I come back with a detail spray. Now, just a, a little area. I like to use our, our plush towel. This is our single plush towel, one of our most popular towels ever. I just like to add a little bit of gloss when I'm done using the waterless wash. That looks fantastic. The very last thing that I would do is then come back over it with our glass cleaner and a glass towel just to make your windows perfect. Voila, you've got a car wash and you can use an ounce of water.